Hey everyone, Vince Giordano, Junior Attic County Library, Ask Us Anything. Today's question is, how do you have things organized in the library? Why are some things in one room and why are they in another? So we sort of start with age groups. So we have a whole children's room and that has all the children's materials in there. It starts with fiction books, chapter books, nonfiction books, uh, books, easy reader we call them for young children. Um, and we even have children's movies in there as well and toys. So we keep everything in there. So it's, you know, a place where everything is focused there and you won't necessarily have, you know, a Game of Thrones or an adult romance book kind of intermingling. Then in the other parts of the library, other rooms, we have stacks of books, shelves, and they have the adult fiction books, for example, and we have them alphabetical. Often people might ask, hey, can you point me to the Christian you know, fiction books? We actually just have them alphabetical by the author's last name. So if it's Kincaid, it would be under K-I-N, or if it's Patterson, P-A-T. And then within that, it's alphabetical by the title. So if you find a whole bunch of James Patterson's and you know it's a title that begins with a B, you would go to the beginning of it. And we also have on the spine, on the side of them, if it's a certain number in a series, or if it's a, if it's a certain genre, like science fiction, romance, um, mystery, or Christian fiction. So kind of to give an easy way to look at things. Then we also have in one section all of our DVDs, the same, alphabetical by the title, music CDs, kind of in genres, and... We recently took all the young adult fiction books and interfiled them with the adult fiction books. Um, we find that sometimes when you take books or items and put them into a certain collection in a certain room in a certain area, while it might be good to maybe separate them, it actually can sometimes make it more difficult to find them and the circulation numbers for checking them out actually can decrease and not increase. You know, if we have a certain area and it's labeled something and it's standing apart from everything else, you know, that could be like a stigma to others where they go there and people look at them in a different way. Um, we recently, over the past six months, added a whole bunch of signs, overhead signs that point you in the direction. Um, they kind of line up with your eyesight and they just make it a little bit easier. I like when I go into a bookstore, there's big signs that tell me, here's where cooking books is. Here's where, uh, you know, true, true crime, true mystery books are. I like that. That helps. And we also have some handouts at the library that kind of give a layout of where things are. And I'll post a link in this. So thanks for watching. And we hope next time you're in, you can find what you're looking for. If you can't, let us know, or we also have catalog computers that you can search. Thank you, and ask us anything.